Greetings and salutations and welcome to another Steeler Boy video. This time it's a very quick follow-up video um, to a comment made by Michael on uh, one of my previous videos about the use of SPAD, uh, which is the SciTech Panel Advanced Drivers, with the SciTech Switch Panel, specifically regarding the landing gear LED lights. Now, as you can see from the bottom right, I've actually got them working at the moment. So I'm just going to very quickly show you how I did that. Now, I'm in the A2A uh, Comanche 250, but in theory this same process should work for pretty much any aircraft. So um, let me just bring down SPAD, SPAD, and I'll show you how I did it. There's a, a very, very simple way of doing it, and it involves the use of online snippets. Okay, so let me just first of all delete um, this event. Delete all of those and I'll go to the left um, left landing gear, delete all of those and to the right landing gear, delete them all. Okay, so right now we haven't got any events configured for any of those, let me just save that. So what you need to do, if you for example click on the nose gear, uh, that one there, no currently programmed events, that's fine, click on online snippets and this saves you a lot of hard work and there's one all set up, the FSUIPC Center Gear LED. Highlight that, click OK, and it loads it in. Do the same for the left wheel, or the left landing gear, online snippets, that's the one we want, the FSUIPC. I don't use SIM Connect myself, I only use FSUIPC. There we go, that's that one in, and finally the right gear, online snippets, highlight the FSU IPC and put it in and that's it that's done that is the LEDs all done it's as simple as that um, if you want to um, kind of get an idea of how those script works then you can click on edit event and that'll tell you basically or, or, or go down into the event in detail so you've got a condition there and then you've got the actions that to be executed so if you want to kind of uh, go into it in detail and find out exactly what it's doing then you can do that but if not just use the online snippets the other thing is regarding the gear lever itself now if you watch my previous video or the latest video on um, SPAD you'll notice that I use macros now from what I was reading on the internet there are a couple of issues with the landing gear in this particular aircraft or at least uh, any aircraft with three positions you'll notice here you've got a down position for the gear you've got a neutral position and you've got a gear up position so how do we emulate basically the gear going up and down well if you were to use um, the normal feature of gear up and gear down what it would do it was only send it to the middle position so you'd be okay putting the gear down but then when you put the gear up you'd only get it to the the neutral position it wouldn't actually raise it up so what I've done is I've created some macro or a macro yet again. Let me just bring in the macro and I'll show you. So again, you need to create this file in your FSX modules folder. Create the file called, well, I've called it C250 underscore gear dot MCRO. That goes in your FSX modules folder. That's the content of it. Um, I'll put this again in the description so you can actually uh, copy it from there or you can pause the video and just copy that in basically it's one line landing gear lever pause equals set that's all you need to do that goes in your FSX modules folder you then launch flight sim um, or what you can do is if you go to FSX uh, sorry FSUIPC and go to buttons and switches click reload all buttons and that'll basically bring in that macro that you just set up. It'll name, then be in the list. In SPAD, you need to set up a virtual joystick like we did in the previous video. Uh, if you haven't seen that, just go back one, watch my latest video on, uh, on SPAD with the uh, SciTech switch panel, and it will show you how to set up a, joy a virtual joystick if you don't know that already. Once you've set your virtual joystick up, I've got it set for 10 and 11, so button 10 for gear down, button 11 for gear up. Once you've got that set, you go to FSUIPC, buttons and switches, remembering to click on profile specific. You then use the gear lever, in which case we'll put it up, gear up, 
and it says yep okay joystick 64 button 11 and in this list you will see there landing gear lever position set make sure the parameter is zero to have your landing gear go up the parameter needs to be zero so click OK for that one I'm just going to click cancel because it's already configured in fact I don't need to click anything I can just use the gear lever put it in the down position and this time when it's down it's exactly the same macro as before landing gear lever position set joystick 64 this time I've got it set to button 10 the parameter needs to be 2 make sure that's showing value 2 once you've got that set what will happen now it will actually miss the middle position so it will skip the neutral position so gear down if I put it up you'll see that the gear lever goes straight up to up and again all the way down so it actually misses the middle position that's really the only way that I know of how to do that to get it working properly if it's in the up position and you're in mid flight you can of course do that manually with the mouse move it to the off position if it, if it bothers you and then when you're on landing gear down and it will go down to the down position yep so that's it that should get your LEDs and your gear lever working fine if you get any problems just leave comments in the, the, uh, the comments box below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can thanks for watching take care see you on the next video